Hi guys and welcome back to Smack Vision where I'm your host Ange and this is my weight loss journey and if you are new here hello my name is Ange and I am a 42 year old weight watcher and I have been following the WW2 uh, blue plan WW program um, since February of 2019 and have successfully lost over 100 pounds and I have been vlogging this journey um, ever since and if you have uh, been here all along hi I know you missed me I miss you too um, so this is my weigh-in weekly weigh-in which I have weekly been weighing in I just haven't been weekly uploading and whether or not I have been following the plan, I still have been facing the scale every Monday and uh, logging it. It's just that ugh, I haven't I haven't been uploading. I've been failing in that area. So this is my weekly uh, weigh-in video um, that I like to call my SmackDown video. And this is where I tell you how I've been doing. Um, for my weight loss, um, first of all, it is Monday. I weighed in this morning. Let me just really quick go back and say, my last video I uploaded, I announced that I had COVID-19. I had COVID-19. Um, I have, I, I survived. I survived, I made it. It was not fun. I was pretty sick for at least I want to say at least five days I was very sick I never went in the hospital I just felt like crap for five straight days just like very heavy very tired fatigued coughing sniffling sneezing um, sore throat pounding headache no smell no taste couldn't see my boyfriend Dan um, it was terrible and it was, I, it was a true test. It was a test of my sanity. It was a test of my survival skills. I know I'm being a little dramatic, but me and all three of my daughters all had, um, the Corona, uh, virus and we were all stuck in the house together the entire time. Um, dealing with each other and you know I was by myself I couldn't I could I'm, I'm a single mom so I could you know I didn't I didn't have anybody to count on my boyfriend didn't get sick so we couldn't come near us so it was just it was just me and the kids and every morning I had to wake up I had to force all these vitamins on me and try to force them on the kids and take everybody's temperatures several times a day and make sure everybody's getting enough fluids and even though I had no energy to like cook or anything like I had to you know make soups and and stuff like that and and I you know the kids fared it a lot better than I did um and it also was a you know an eye opener to me in a sense that I I made it through I pulled through and I did some things while I was in quarantine that I never thought I could do um I me and my daughters painted their bedroom without the help of any man or anybody and um there was a mishap with my twins bunk bed and it was unfixable so i personally and single-handedly took it apart and ordered a whole new bed for them and built the whole new bed for them by myself with my own two hands in one day i built the entire bed so I'm not one for like following instructions or like building anything. I am not mechanically inclined at all, but this was a true test for me and I felt this whole girl power vibe. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I don't need anybody. I got this. I can do this. And I did it. And I was so proud of myself. Um, so yeah. And then um, the very first day that I could get out of quarantine, I ran right to the nail salon to get my nails done. And... Um, being as how my kids were quarantining a, a little a few days uh, longer than me because my symptoms started first um, Dan and I uh, saw each other in uh, we went to we stayed in an overnight in a hotel because he couldn't come to my house um, I, I don't go to his house he lives far away um, and uh, we had a great night it was the night before um, Valentine's Day we went out to dinner and even though I couldn't taste anything it was really nice to like be out 
and feel the slightest bit normal and so that was nice and uh, I've just been recovering ever since the kids are perfectly fine but I still have residual symptoms obviously you can hear that I'm congested I'm sniffling I'm sneezing I still can't smell anything um, my taste is probably 50% there like I, I and so I actually even made the effort to call the doctor this morning and see about having them see me and see if there's something they can give me to <laughs> get rid of this um these symptoms um I have that appointment coming on Wednesday morning telehealth of course because they won't see you in the office if you have any cold type symptoms I'm like don't you want to listen to my chest like I have fluid in my chest I can it's like you know and they're just like oh yeah no if if you want to um have someone listen to your chest you have to go to the emergency room or a walk-in clinic or an urgent care and I'm like what's the point of having a primary care physician if they won't even see you when you're sick. So anybody? Anyway, I digress. So let's get back to the thank you. Oh, also, thank you so much for all the well wishes and everything. The girls are fine and I'm pretty much fine for the most part. So thank you. And I'm back. So I went back to work, the whole thing, but I missed two whole weeks of work, so I've been trying to work extra to make up for that, which is another reason why I um, haven't been uploading, um, but also I am proud to announce that as soon as I could, the very first week after my weigh-in post-COVID, because I gained, while I was sick, I gained like eight or nine pounds, um, and then I am proud to uh, proud to announce, excuse me, proud to announce that I went back to the gym. I went back to the gym and I have been going to the gym at least five days a week. I have been going strong at the gym because you know what? I sat there and after I weighed myself after the second week of COVID and I had my weigh in and I'm like, oh my God. I gained, over those two weeks, I gained like nine pounds because I was just stagnant. I was just laying there and I was just thinking to myself, even though I couldn't taste anything, well, I might as well take advantage of it. I might as well nourish myself because I have, a, I have an eating problem. Like, I have an eating problem. Whether I could taste it or not, the actual action of putting food in my mouth and feeling it fill me up is comforting to me. And I use that any chance I get. There it is. I use it when I'm sad. I use it when I'm happy. I use it when I'm lonely. I use it when I'm tired. I use it when I'm sick. I use it. I just, that's, it's an, it's an eating disorder. It is. It is. I couldn't taste anything, but I, it didn't stop me from stuffing my face every chance I got. It's not good. It's not good. I don't I don't know how to get out of it. I'm just hoping that you know mentally reminding myself of how far I've come is the only the only thing I have to hold on to to try and keep my ass in check. That's it. That's all I got. So anyway, with that being said, over the last 5 weeks I went way up and I'm heading back down. And uh, this week I weighed in and I weighed 189 pounds. So that means that I lost, 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 lost 2.9 pounds. pounds since last week's weigh in, which was 191.1. So I have had a grand total loss of 102.8 pounds. pounds on the ww up and down and up and down and on and off and on and off it's it's a ride it's a roller coaster ride let me put this down so but um a couple weeks ago when i was okay and went back to work and i was i'm looking at myself in the mirror and i'm like what the hell is wrong with me like i haven't been to the gym in like two or three months two or three months i was going religiously at least three times a week and I was saying in some of my previous videos when I was going full steam at the gym about how like I was carving out and like my body was starting to look kind of mannish up here but it's like muscular but like I don't know how I feel about it but once I stopped going and like two months of non 
working out, like I felt like it completely erased a whole year and a half's worth of working out. And it pissed me off. So I told my boyfriend, I was like, you know what? I got to snap out of this. This is not the Ange that you met. I need to get my ass back to the gym. I got to get going. I got to get pumped. I got to get hyped. I got to, I want to look good this summer. I want to, at the very least, get back to what I was, which was my lowest was, I believe, 176. That was my lowest. But like my goal is to weigh 175. And and anybody who's on the, the, the WW or most weight loss um, programs or stuff, like it's hard not to be obsessed with that number. Like, I know you could, like, somebody could be more fit than me and weigh more than me, that that's possible, and I would take that. I'll take that. If I, if I have to be a fit, muscular, like, carved out, you know, 190-pound girl instead of a semi-flabby 170-pound girl, like, then so be it, but I want to be fit, and I want to be toned, and I want to look good in my clothes and you know uh, for some reason we are all obsessed with that number and it, it doesn't have to be that way I, I I don't know how to not be obsessed with the number I literally weigh myself every single morning not good it's not good so what else is going on I'm actually in the car right now so that I can go to the gym. I'm actually on my way to the gym. Also, my twins have been going to the gym with me too. And now they're seeing girls from their school in the gym too. So they're more like, you know, like, you know, feeling more like let, let's work out, like whatever. So they've been going to the gym with me, which is great because it's, it's, it's a lot it's easier to go when you have somebody there with you and like plus I'm teaching them like what to do and how to do it and stuff so and they like it and you feel good after working out and uh so there's that um other news in other news um yeah so I have not been back to Queens to the uh TV studio for the Feyo Weo Haitian TV network uh and my friends over there at that network that I'm working on a couple projects with but during my illness while I was sick I did um order a nice professional camera and just this week ordered some professional lighting so that I can set it all up in my own house and Dan and I are going to start filming some cooking shows for the channel and I have the crew set up to come from Queens this weekend to my house on Saturday Dan and I are going to cook for them and they're going to show me how to set up my stuff and my equipment so that we can start doing that and getting some cooking shows up on the Haitian TV network so um, stay tuned for information on that they also posted a huge billboard in Times Square last week um, to advertise the Haitian TV network, which is really cool. My, my picture's not in it or anything, just the, the hosts from the uh, original show, which is a talent show. Um, their pictures are on there, but it's so cool seeing people that you know and people that you're like working with and communicating with up on this big, huge billboard in Times Square in New York City where millions of people see it all the time so it's really exciting and if you don't know yet I will put it the link um, underneath in the description it is a uh, free app on your fire stick Roku iPhone Android smart TV it is a Haitian TV network um, it's just starting out and um, I'm going to be making my own TV show on there um, going on little adventures to learn about uh, Haitian culture and things like that and I'm also now going to be filming some cooking shows with my boyfriend Dan and we want to call it dig in with Ange and Dan so that's what we're going for hopefully it'll um, be called that and I'm not sure what my show is going to be called yet we were kicking around some ideas and I kind of liked fun fab and free with Ange so something like that I'm not really sure but as I said Stay tuned, and I will give you more information on that, and I'll put the the spelling in over here, so you can see. And uh, that's what's going on with that. <clears throat> um, the kids are doing good. 
Dan's doing good. Um, this week is St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is on Wednesday, but I'm scheduled to work. And every year, and it's my family tradition that we always have corned beef and cabbage with potatoes and carrots and, like, you know, the Irish flag dinner. And uh, since today is Monday and I waited in this morning, Monday, for whatever reason, I torture myself and I call it cheat day and I eat whatever BS that I want and I kill myself trying to work it off all week. So tonight it's corned beef, corned beef dinner. So I have my corned beef boiling and I can't wait to eat that. Um, so there's that and what else? That's it. That's all I really have for you work I've been working a lot at the Cheesecake Factory I'm a server um, it's been getting busier people are getting their tax return money people are now starting to get their stimulus money and this is just a friendly reminder that just because you have the money to spend on yourself don't be chintzy when it comes to tipping your server if you're going out to eat and having a nice experience and spending you know two hundred plus dollars on dinner tip your server they're working their butt off to make sure that you have a good time to make sure that you have a nice experience also the service industry and restaurants are struggling you know who's you know you know what the, the busiest thing right now is takeout and so those people that are trying to make a living by working in restaurants and being a waitress or a waiter or a bartender or a busser or anybody that makes tips are struggling because of the restaurant uh, capacity restrictions and the fact that people are scared to go out to eat and so they're just trying to get by and when you come in there and you you're going out to eat to enjoy yourself with your family or your friends and you got your stimulus money or your income tax money and you want to come in and 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 ball out like we like to call it and have a bunch of cocktails and appetizers and dinners and desserts and soup to nuts and your bills 250 bucks do the right thing by your server. Give them a 20% tip. I mean, unless they're hor horrible, you know, I can understand that. But if they're coming out, if you're coming out and that server is getting all of your stuff for you, every single whim that you, that you ask for, you take care of that server just the way your server took care of you. Because you know what? Karma. Karma. So that's just a PSA for anybody who needs a little education about tipping. 18% is acceptable, 20% or more is preferred. Um, and if, the, you know, if you have food allergies or you think you're going to sit there for four hours and, and chit chat with your friend, you should compensate your server for taking up the time in their table that they could be seating a whole other round of guests and making another tip off. You're not gonna sit there for four hours and catch up on a high school reunion and sit there with yearbooks or playing Uno. And then at the end when your check is 200 bucks, you're gonna go, here's $30, it's 15%, thank you. Cause that's right, that's right, 15%. No, no, it's not right. You sat here for four hours. No, it's not right. You just cost me a pile of money by sitting there getting cozy, which technically you shouldn't be out socializing, right? Because it's social distancing. Some restaurants have time limitations on their tables, and I believe that all restaurants should have that. Not even just during this pandemic, just in general, because it's common courtesy. Um, sorry, I'm ranting. It was a rough weekend this past weekend for me at work. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, also, update in the state of Connecticut, our governor announced that starting March 19th, they are lifting the capacity restrictions for restaurants. Therefore, we can have 100% 100 seating capacity guest-wise, but he said you still have to have six feet distance in between and um, you use the, the social distancing. So it's like, really, that's not going to change. Cause if you are allowed to seat 100% seating capacity, but you have to keep six feet in between all of those people, the only way you can do that is to build your building bigger, but then it wouldn't be hundred percent seating capacity because then you can see even more people. So it's kind of contradictory. Um, at first I was like, oh my God, oh my God, finally we're going to make some money because we can get 100% guests in there and I can have, you know, a full section and there's going to be more shifts. But like, no, 
No, because you still have to have the spacing. So in order to, to maintain that guideline, it, it's impossible to have, you can't have it. Unless you have like those plexiglass dividers in between each and every single table, which my other restaurant job has those. So, um, but I haven't been there in like two months because it was too slow. So I told them to just take me off the schedule until it gets busier. Um, so anyway, yeah, sorry. This video is really, really long. I'm really sorry. So I got to go to the gym. Um, I wanted to catch up with you guys, let you know I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing much better. Um, my vibe is good. I'm going to the gym. I'm, I'm working out. I'm getting toned back up. I'm keeping busy. I got some hair people on deck for next week. I, I do hair as well on the side. Actually, I'm going to get my own hair done tomorrow. Normally, I do my own hair, but this is going to be a big job that I just, I don't want to even risk it. So I'm going to get it cut and lightened and a whole new look. I'm getting that done tomorrow. So the next time you see me, I'm going to have new hair. And that's it. That's all I got for you today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I've been scarce. I've just been busy hustling. And, you know, I was sick. And now I'm trying to balance back into the game. So um, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ange. And this is my Smackdown video. And if you like what you see, hit the like button, the subscribe button, share with your friends. I am back in the game. I'm killing it. I have goals and I'm trying my best to reach them. And I will put my email underneath. You can follow me on Instagram. You can um, email me. You can Snapchat me. You can follow me on Facebook and um, leave me a comment or whatever you want to do. I hope everybody out there is healthy and safe and doing well. And uh, stay tuned here for more on Smack Vision. Bye guys.